Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to Supercar. I'm carrying on with the R34 GTR build today. So last week's video, I put together the very first piece, which was this kind of chassis part here. I drew that up in Illustrator, cut it out of foam board. Actually, it's two identical pieces cut out and glued together. So that's gonna form the very first um, starting point for the build. Today, what I'm thinking is I'm going to start building up some kind of structure components. So I'm kind of thinking like, there'll be a bunch of parts that run like this kind of lengthways, maybe about four or five, I'm not too sure, maybe, maybe about five like this that run all the way along. And then kind of running across the car, there'll be a bunch of parts like this kind of interlocking with like slots into that to form like a, a strong kind of structure that starts to create the overall form and shape of the car. So uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I've got an idea. I can kind of see it in my mind, so let's get into Illustrator and start drawing up some parts and see how we go. So just to give you a bit more insight into my, my process and how I work on these kinds of builds, um, one technique that I use a lot, like well actually all the time, is I keep a bunch of like just off cuts and, and rough scrap bits of board lying around. And if I'm thinking through how I want to construct something, I can just do a very, very quick rough kind of mock-up just like this. I mean, obviously this is very imprecise and rough and the actual model won't look like this very much at all but it just helps me to to visualize and work through some of the potential design problems um, in my idea. I've kind of worked through the design of the parts and I've got it all like mapped out in my mind but visualizing it like this with this kind of technique helps to work through some potential issues that I haven't thought about. So yeah if I was a an artist creating a beautiful artwork or something like that um, this would basically be like a pencil sketch if you like. It's just like an ideation tool. And yeah, I'm hoping that I can use this illustration from the back of the Tamiya instruction booklet that I sized and scanned and imported into my Illustrator file last week. I'm hoping that that's going to provide the shape and the size information that I need for the parts that I'm about to draw up.
Okay, so I've drawn up the parts for the very first structural piece. So that will go, hopefully it will go where this piece kind of is, all the way down the length of the car. I've actually drawn it up in two separate pieces because um, the, the sheets of foam board that I have aren't quite long enough to do the entire piece in, in one section. So do it in two pieces. Well, what I'll do is I'll print it out from my Illustrator file, my A4 printer, as usual. Tile each piece out into about probably three separate A4 pages for each piece. Um, and then translate that onto the foam board and cut it out by hand. So let's do that now. Good, so that's the first cut of those first structural pieces done. And I've just kind of sat them on top of the chassis part, pretty much where they're going to be mounted. And I've, you can see that I've built tabs into the bottom of these structural parts, and they're just going to sit into slots in the chassis piece to hold them in place. So I haven't cut slots into the bottom of the chassis yet. Um, that's my next job. Basically, I need to jump into the Illustrator file work out exactly where the slots should be that correspond to the tabs that I built into these structural parts, tile out a guide on my A4 printer, lay that over the top of the chassis and kind of retrospectively cut the slots in in the right spot. And then I can sit these structural parts um, into the chassis in the right place. So yeah, let's go and do that. Hmm. So thinking about these parts that I just made just before, I think there's actually a few tweaks that I'd like to make at this point. Basically, what I want to do is move this slot here over that way a little bit so that it corresponds a bit better with uh, like the base of the windscreen when that's in a bit later on. And also this part here looks, doesn't look very strong. So what I might do is change the front end of this piece to match this one to kind of bring it out like that. And that would just remove this kind of weak little bit just here. I made the tab at the bottom of that one really big, really wide, but I don't think it needs to be that wide. Basically, I want to avoid having big holes in the bottom of the chassis if possible, just because it's really kind of weak. Also, I want to tweak the position of these slots a little bit. They're not quite right. And also the rear end of this part here where the bumper, 
the rear bumper will eventually be kind of feels a bit unresolved and I'd like to tweak that a bit more as well. So yeah, I'll jump into Illustrator, make all those tweaks, print a new set of parts and cut them all out and I'll see you shortly. All right, so it's the next night, and what you would have just seen me do is make a bunch of tweaks and remake these two pieces here. So some of the tweaks that I made, um, well, actually a lot of the tweaks were basically to these vertical slots. And um, I realized that they needed to be a little bit wider, just so that when I fit pieces into those later on, they'll just go in a bit easier. Also, I like redistributed the spacing of them a little bit better. And this slot here in particular, I kind of moved that way a little bit, just so that it will kind of, um, line up and coincide with the base of the windscreen assembly, which will should be about there, if you kind of imagine that. Um, yeah. And that moving it that way also meant that this piece here is larger and stronger than it was before, which is good. Um, what else did I do? Oh, these slots here, again, they were like redistributed, so they're a bit more evenly spaced. Um, increased the width of them a little bit more, again, so that when I fit pieces into those later on, they'll just go in a bit easier. And I also tweaked the shape of this kind of bit here. This is a little recess because I realized that that will probably line up with one of the tail lights that will go in there later on. And it's a little bit hard to see, but this piece behind here, I kind of made a bit longer and it overlaps this front piece now so that when I put a piece eventually down into that slot, it'll kind of tie the two together, if that makes sense. So it'll just make it stronger. Cool. Awesome. So um, now I've made those tweaks, I'm happy with leaving those pieces as they are for now. I'm sure I'll make more tweaks and changes to those as I start designing more, more pieces that fit around them. But um, yeah, for now, what I want to do is jump back into my Illustrator file, and do what I said I was going to do just before and work out where all the slots should go into the chassis so I can start actually fitting these inner structure pieces 
to the chassis. So let's do that now. Yeah, cool, so that's worked out where the slots should be that I need in, in that chassis piece. Some of them, like these ones here, they're actually for parts that I'm about to design. I haven't actually designed or built those, so I'm kind of guessing or hoping that those are in the right spot. I think they are, but we'll soon find out. So yeah, let's print this out on my A4 printer. I'll tile it out, lay it over the top of the chassis piece that I've made already, and use that as a guide to cut out exactly where all those little slots should be. And then I can start fitting those inner structural parts to the chassis, let's do it. That's all the slots cut out of the chassis part, which is great. What I've done is actually just cut through the top layer only. Like I'd initially thought that the slot would go all the way through both layers of foam board, but it kind of doesn't really need to. And it just, it just makes it more difficult if you gluing the two, these two chassis pieces together, you'd have to kind of perfectly align every slot so they aligned up perfectly. So what that also means is I need to make these tabs a little bit shorter. So I made them tall enough to go through two layers of foam board but now I only want them to go through one. So I need to cut these ones down a little bit on these parts that I've already cut out. And I also need to go into my Illustrator file and just tweak the plan to make sure that these are the right height.
awesome. So the first couple of pieces of the internal structure are now actually properly fitted into their slots onto the chassis. Next, what I think I'll do is draw up these three parts here. Now, I've got a design in my mind as to what they should look like. Actually, they'll be pretty similar to this piece here, so it should be fairly straightforward. That's those three pieces all cut out and fitted now, so you can see where they sit relative to the chassis and the rest of the car. They're basically all the same, except for the one in the middle where I removed the, the, the tab there, because I don't think that's going to be needed. Basically, if you imagine, basically if you imagine like this is the, is the hood or the, the bonnet, depending on what part of the world you're in, um, I'm thinking that you'll be able to kind of assemble the hood as a complete separate unit like this and then that will kind of fit over those two ma big main tabs over the top like that. So basically I'm thinking that once the hood is finally assembled it'll have some thickness to it right? So um, this is this line here represents the top of the fender and once the once the hood's completely assembled it should come up and just be nice and flush with the top of the fender like that. That's the idea anyway. See how it goes when I get around to building the hood. So the next piece I think I need to make is basically just like a rectangular piece that will fit onto the back um, here like this um, and slot onto those, those tabs that I've built into these three new parts. Um, if you imagine that like this big open area is going to be where the interior goes, this will kind of basically represent kind of your footwell and where the dashboard sits. But um, yeah, if I make a piece like this with three slots in it that goes over those tabs, that should tie it all in together and make it nice and strong. So I'll make that part now. So one thing that I haven't been doing, but I really, really should, is just start labeling each piece that I've cut out. So basically each part that I've drawn up in Illustrator has its own individual like uh, name or code. I need to start writing that name and code on each piece that I cut out. It just helps me keep track of what's what. So like for example, if I need to make a tweak to this part here, I could just look at the code that I've written on it and I know exactly what that corresponds to in my Illustrator file. And I'll probably start noting um, like the version number on each one as well, 
so that I know that I've always got the correct and most current version of the part that I've cut out on the build. So the piece isn't quite right, um, basically it's a little bit too short. I measured the height of it from these pieces, but I should have measured the height of it from this piece here. So it's a little bit too low, a little bit too low. I don't know if you can quite see that on camera, but yeah, I'm going to have to tweak it, reprint it, cut another one. Okay, so I've tweaked that part and cut a new one. You can see that it's basically exactly the same as the previous one. It's just a bit taller. So uh, yeah. Let's fit that and see if this one's good now. All right, awesome, so that's looking really, really good. Probably the last thing I'll do for this video is just cut another pair of these pieces here. I'm um, just off camera because you saw me cut those ones earlier and the process is the same. But I'll just cut those out and put them on this side of the car just to make it look a bit more symmetrical and complete. So I'll do that now. All right, so it's the next day. Last night turned out to be a little bit of a mission of making a bunch of little tweaks to all of those parts that I've just made, recutting a full set of new parts reassembling it onto the car. Basically there were just a bunch of little things that I wasn't quite happy about. Um, well I was reasonably happy about it but like now I'm starting to think ahead to some of the other assemblies that will attach to these internal structures and I want to make sure that um, you know these are as, as kind of right or as good as they can be. So yeah welcome to my design process. It's basically just a lot of iterations and tweaks and changes and kind of basically redoing things over and over. But um, yeah I didn't film any of it because you've seen it before, it's just the same process of kind of making tweaks to the Illustrator file and recutting things. So to give you an idea of some of the tweaks that I made, basically uh, I changed the, the front profile of these, these pieces here. So now they have a big, well four of them have a big tab on the front. The center one doesn't because I don't think they all need tabs. But what I'm thinking ahead to is um, when I come to design and build the front bumper, I can basically assemble it as, a, as an entire complete unit um, at once and then slide that on over these tabs. So that's how the front bumper will attach. Before, if I show you the previous version, this is the previous version that I made um, in, the, in the rest of this video, you can see that I didn't really know or have any idea about 
how the front bump was going to attach. So I just kind of made up this profile just as a place to start. But yeah, no, I don't think that would be very useful. Another tweak that I did was I moved this piece here kind of back a little bit. And I think that will better um, kind of line up with where the A pillar for the roof will come down and join. You can see there's a sort of convergence of a bunch of different pieces here and it makes it really, really strong. I think that's gonna be a good point for the A pillar to join into. Also, I've reshaped the profile of this piece here. This will be the top corner of the kind of Z-Tune style fender, which has this kind of little bit that kind of sticks out at a bit of an angle at the top. And you can see that this here just starting to inform kind of outer bodywork um, shape down the side of the car. So yeah, at first I was a little bit bummed how this side piece had to be in, like split over two separate parts because it didn't fit onto a single sheet of a foam board. But actually I think it's turned into a bit of a happy accident because you can see how the two overlap through the center section here, um, which has to be a big open kind of hole basically for where the interior is going to go in. You can see that um, that makes like a double layered section on both sides, which makes it really, really strong. So I think it's actually turned out to be a good thing that it's two pieces. And yeah, you won't actually see any of this when the car is finished. This is all internal structure type stuff. Um, it's given me a good platform to start building all the rest of the car and eventually the outer body panels onto. Nice, so that's a wrap for this video, I think. I've made a really good start on all the internal structure work for the car. I'm going to now get busy designing and building all the parts for kind of like the rear structure of the car. But uh, yeah, you have to check into the next video to see how I go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.